Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a, another makeup tutorial. I'm actually going to be turning myself into the butterfly filter. You know, the one that makes your lips really big and like the freckles with the two little butterflies? This one. Yeah, this is like my favorite filter ever. So it kind of inspired a makeup look for me to do. So I'm going to be doing my best to turn myself into that filter today. I'm just gonna dive right into the video. I already have my foundation and my concealer and eyebrows done. I'm just gonna do like the rest of my face. I finally have my nails off in like so long and these like do not even feel like my fingers. Like they just feel like little nubs. Like, I did not realize how long my nails were until I actually took them off. Anyways, I think I'm gonna start by doing the freckles today. For the freckles, I'm gonna be using my Wet n Wild Dual Ended Contour Stick. I'm gonna be using the contour end of the stick to do the freckles since it's quite a bit darker than my actual skin tone. Almost out of this. And I'm gonna be using a stipple brush to do this, like this kind of brush. It's a really small one. It's the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. And I'm just putting the contour all over the end of this brush. And then I'm lightly just adding dots to my cheeks. And I'm putting a lot of freckles, freckles, because the butterfly filter has like a ton of freckles. And I'm doing my best to replicate that. Okay, so moving on to the butterflies now. This is definitely going to be the hardest part of the look. In the filter, the butterflies are just like little butterflies right under your eyes. So I'm going to make these by combining some of my P. Louise Zero Base. This is just the pure white one, as well as a blue eyeshadow. And I've just done that on the back of my hand to get this sort of color. And I'm going to use a little tiny flat brush like this to at least get the outline of the little tiny butterfly shapes. Okay, so first I'm just outlining the shape of a butterfly just with the blue eyeshadow and base mixture. And then I actually switched to a smaller brush, just like a little detailed pencil brush, just to make the outline a little bit more concise around the wings. Then I'm just filling it all in with the blue shade. Now I'm going to outline it and add like the markings of the butterflies. So for this, I'm using another one of those little liner brushes, which are actually paint brushes, but they work the same. Spraying some setting spray and a black eyeshadow and then dipping the brush in that. And I'm outlining it to make it look as close to the butterflies on the Snapchat filter as possible. So I'm making the bottoms of the wings darker, the outside corners of the wings darker, as well as the center. And the middle of the wings on the outside, I'm not making as dark as the rest of the outline, because that's what it looks like to me on there. And once I've got it fully outlined, I'm just going back in and really, really lightly just adding a couple lines in the middle of the wings. The ones on the filter aren't really that exact, they're kind of blurry. So I'm just making very faint lines throughout the butterfly wing to try to match those. Okay, now that the butterflies are mostly done, the bottoms of the wings look a little bit darker on the filter as well as the middle looks like more teal. So I'm gonna go in with eyeshadow and try to fix that. So I'm first gonna go in with the shade Cola from my James Charles palette. And I'm just taking this on a really small brush and adding it to the bottoms of the wings where it looks darker, just really, really lightly. Now I'm gonna go in with this shimmery teal shade here. I believe it's called Hello. If it's not, I'll definitely correct that in the description of the video. And I'm gonna be adding this to the center of the butterfly wings where it looks brighter in the filter. Now I'm just gonna go back over the center of each of the butterflies with black eyeshadow again that I wet with setting spray, just because I feel like we lost a little bit of the outline when I put the shimmer color down. So now I'm gonna add some contour. I just did like my foundation and concealer before doing this whole look. I didn't do any contour or highlight, so I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna be using my Stellar Face Sculptor in the shade Umbra, and I'm just running this under my cheekbones, along my jawline, and around my forehead. And then for highlight, I'm going to be using my Milani Instant Glow Powder in the shade Afterglow. And I'm actually just going to be putting this on the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and then the corners of my eyes. And the butterfly filter doesn't really come with an eye look or anything. So I'm just going to do a really basic one to go with it. I'm going to take the shade Raw Sienna from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Just on an 
elf blender brush or what's this called blending brush ah. and i'm just gonna use this to define my crease and the back corner of my eye so i'm just running my brush back and forth through my crease until i feel like this is blended out well and then i'm gonna add a tiny tiny bit of my elf precision liner literally just not even there like the smallest possible line just straight across my lid just to make the lashes blend better when i put them on so now i'm just gonna pop on a pair of lashes so now i'm just gonna go over my lashes with some mascara this is the covergirl clump crusher just to make them blend a little better and then lastly, I'm going to move on to lips. This filter has like ginormous lips. Like it literally makes your lips look huge. Kind of makes me want to get lip injections. Uh, so I've been applying the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme sporadically while I've been doing this makeup tutorial to get my lips as plumped as they possibly could be. And this is it. Not very plumped. Okay, so I'm going to start with lip liner and I'm going to be using my excuse how small this is my annabelle lip liner in the shade spice this one's absolutely tiny i did get a new one but i cannot find it anywhere so i'm just gonna use this little nub of a lip liner and i'm gonna overdraw the bottom and my cupid's bow quite a bit but mostly the bottom because if you look at the filter the bottom lip is like huge i'm not gonna overdraw the sides though because i feel like that looks weird just mostly the bottom and a little bit on the top okay now that my lips are like super overlined. I'm going to shade in the corners of both my lips as well and then apply a lighter matte lipstick to the center of my lips. And then for my liquid lipstick, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Mini Liquid Lipstick in the shade Artist and I'm just applying this to the center of my lips. And lastly, I'm just gonna spray my face with setting spray. This is the e.l.f. Mist and Set. And this is the finished look. This was the butterfly filter to the best of my ability. I do like it. I do feel like the butterflies are a little off kilter. Like this one's definitely lower than this one. I mean, sometimes the filter's glitchy anyways, but that's really bugging me. Other than that though, I really like it. I think it was a cool idea. Let me know what you guys think and let me know if there's anything you guys want to see next from me. As always, I'll list all of the products in the description of the video. And yeah, that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.